What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not gaming is actually a waste of time. Now this topic is something that I have kind of wrestled with for like two years now. Uh, this is a really big thing that's been in the back of my mind for a long time and it's definitely played a role in uh, the reason why I kind of stepped back from YouTube and stepped back from making videos. One of the biggest things was that I, I felt guilty when I played games and I felt guilty for a number of reasons and one of the things that I've tried to do is look up on YouTube other people like basically searching like our our games a waste of time our video games a waste of time I've looked that up a couple of times over the last year or two and I've watched different videos from different people and a majority of those videos basically says that it's not a waste of time so long as you're having fun it's something that you like to do but in the back of my mind like I I understood that logically right like I, I got that it made sense to me but I didn't feel it right like I didn't feel like that was the right answer you know uh, it was kind of more like oh yeah that makes sense but i didn't like it wasn't convincing for me and so i spent a lot of time thinking about this and finally um i think i've come to my conclusion i think i figured this out um at least for me personally and at least at this moment in time in my life um and i think as my life changes this this may vary and it might vary from you guys but the thought of gaming and having it be a waste of time was a, definitely a source of some sort of anxiety for me over the last, you know, like I said, two years or so, I just felt like, you know, I'm, I'm older now, I'm not in high school or college anymore, and I felt like guilty for enjoying, or not, not even enjoying, but just spending my time doing that instead of something else always thinking that you know hey there's something more important that you should be doing or there's something else that you should be working on or some do just do something else that's more productive right at, at least on paper um so i wanted to make this video kind of as you know it, maybe you guys feel the same way that i did or do or you know maybe there's someone out there who just needs to hear this um and need maybe maybe i can be that video that convinces you that you shouldn't necessarily feel that anxiety or that um i guess I, you shouldn't really feel bad about playing games right no matter how old you are um, so I wanted to just jump into that I guess the first layer of unpacking this answer comes in the form of looking at your life and trying to figure out um, if you are if games are a crutch for you to avoid things that you don't want to do or don't um, that you you can't do or that you're failing at right so for example if you don't have a job and you're relying on other people to support you and you're spending you know 10 12 hours a day playing games in your room like maybe um maybe for those people who fall in that category gaming isn't isn't necessarily what you should be spending your time on right maybe you're spending too much time gaming uh if that is is the situation that you're in but i would be willing to bet that you probably um, you're probably not in that situation, right? Like, I don't think that that's super common. Um, like, of course, people like that do exist. Um, but I, you know, I, I don't think that that it really takes that much convincing if you're in that scenario to recognize that you shouldn't be spending that much time gaming. You know, there should be other things that that you might need to focus on. So the first thing is, you know, are you addressing your priorities, right? Like if you're in school, are you doing well in school? If you, you know, are if you live on your own, are you paying your bills? If you have a family, are you providing enough for them? Um, if all those if you say yes to all those things then there's no you know there's no issue right gaming should be fine for you um those things that take priority over gaming are the things that i've just listed right progressing in life and taking care of your family and you know providing for yourself those all take priority over gaming right and it's not just gaming it's any entertainment that you can indulge in that would be used to escape your current reality so that includes binge watching netflix for an example or you know scrolling on instagram or twitter or facebook for hours on end you know those things also fall in the same category of gaming now 
what I've said thus far is kind of the extent to which most videos go where they say, hey, you know, if your priorities aren't in line, then you probably shouldn't spend too much time gaming. But if they are, then you should be fine, right? That is basically the extent to which I've seen other people explain this phenomenon of is gaming bad or is gaming a waste of time. Uh, but I want to take it a step further because like I said, that didn't really convince me, right? Like that, that, like I got it, right? I understood like, hey, like I have a job, I can pay my bills, but I still feel guilty for gaming because I just feel like that time should be spent doing something else something better uh, and that's why like i really felt that this topic was just it was complicated for me because growing up gaming was like a big part of my you know childhood and a big part of me even through um you know high school and college a lot of my entertainment came from gamers on youtube and things like that um so you know even though i can pay my bills and and everything like that all of my needs are met and i don't have any responsibilities that you know gaming is is kind of taking over i still felt deep down that it was a waste of time and you know the next layer of this of this um of answering the question of whether or not gaming is a waste of time it, it kind of comes in the form of what are you doing when you're playing a game right like when you're gaming when you're playing any game is it just to kill time like is that why you're playing are you just playing it because you're bored and it provides you some sort of stimulation that you know so you don't have to you don't have to think about something or do something you can just kind of sit there and just you know indulge in, in in a game and and kind of experience that or are you kind of engaged with the game are you are you excited to play it are you getting are you playing it to get better and to, to hone those skills or are you playing it to experience the story right i think those are that's a, there's a very big distinction between those two things are you actively engaging in the act of gaming or are you passively just consuming a game and i think that's a huge difference um between the two things and i think that again this can be applied to a lot of different uh, uh entertainment industries because really the question of is gaming a waste of time can also be asked of anything else that you do just for fun or leisure you could say well is watching a movie a waste a waste of time right because you're not actually producing anything of value while watching a movie right like after you watch the movie that's it you just spent two and a half hours or two hours watching a movie and then you didn't do anything productive nothing happened and you could take it even further and say well what about reading books right a lot of people kind of place reading a book on a different level of gaming because people think well you know reading is like it's more active or you know at least you can be smarter right people kind of associate reading with people who are a bit smarter or, or intellectual um and so you know reading doesn't get the same criticism you never say like oh why are you reading books that's a waste of time like nobody really says that right but they say it about gaming but in reality it's the same right if i just sit there and read the harry read a harry potter book like I'm still wasting the, the, the amount of time that it takes to read that book and I'm not producing anything of value by reading that right and I'm not changing anything I'm not learning any skills I'm not getting better at something right like if you're if you're reading with the intent of learning about human anatomy for example then no one's gonna argue that that's a waste of time because you can say well yeah you're expanding your knowledge about you know your human body your biology whatever um, but if it's fiction then that flips the script and you're saying well you know this stuff is kind of just for pleasure at that point so really when we're saying uh, you know it's gaming a waste of time you can apply that to any form of entertainment and that brings me back to what i was saying before with are you actively engaging in that entertainment or are you passively consuming it and i think you know if you feel that gaming is a waste of time there's a good chance that when you are playing a game you're maybe you're not actively engaged in that game you may actually just be playing that game to kill time and you're not realizing it right like back when you were younger or back at it during a time in your life where gaming you didn't question if it was a waste of time or not maybe you were more engaged in those games maybe you actually enjoyed them a lot more maybe you look forward to you looked forward to to playing them or you look forward to the story or the you know experience or whatever the case is um but these days you may actually just be passively paying, playing that game as a form of escapism right as a form of you know leaving your reality and again if your reality is you know you're paying your bills it's all good right you've got a couple friends you've got you know this and that you, you don't have any you know immediate things that you need to take care of but you're still feeling bad about gaming ask yourself like are you trying to just escape your reality and just passively consume that game and if so maybe that's the reason that you feel that you're wasting your time and i think this distinction is kind of what 
brought me to my conclusion that gaming isn't a waste of time uh, under the condition that you have your needs met and you're not a burden on anybody or anything and you're doing it actively with intention and with purpose um and, and that's a that's a really big part of my argument because again you know games if we, if we take a step back right video games are like a big deal right now in 2019 but in 1919 100 years ago video games were not a big deal because they didn't exist right but we still had games there were still games back then to play there were um, you know crossword puzzles you could play chess with somebody you could play football or baseball you know sports typical regular sports those are were all games um that people played so it kind of falls in the same category as video games this is just a new form of media a new way of doing the same thing we've always done which is play games right humans have been playing games forever and again they don't actually produce anything of inherent value right it's not like after you play a game you have this you know it's not like a when you play a game and, and you, you win a you know something that's worth money right you know maybe in some instances if you're at the top of the field you can but you know 99.99 percent of people aren't at that level in, in any industry sports gaming video games whatever the case is so what i want to focus on is that that active engagement with your games and i found recently that you know one of the reasons that we play games as a species is to engage our brain and 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 be stimulated and actually solve problems and see ourselves rewarded for the work that we put in right like humans actually inherently enjoy or not enjoy but need work in order to feel fulfilled right if you don't have a job and you have nothing to work towards then you probably feel really bad about yourself right and you probably feel worse than somebody who hates their job but at least it pays the bills right there's a there's a decent chance and of course you have to take that on a uh, you know um on a case-by-case -case basis right because some people truly have terrible jobs and it kills their soul but with that being set aside you know if you just have a regular nine to five and you don't love it but it's fine you're probably better off than somebody who lost their job and their the floor just fell out from under them and now they have no way of providing for their family like they are in a dark place they are in one of the darkest places you can be as somebody who has to provide for not just yourself but other people um so you know back to the topic at hand gaming and playing games it has never been about providing value but it's always been about humans working towards something and getting better at something and seeing the fruits of that labor in a in a much more fun way and by certain rules right i think this is a really big distinction to make and i don't really see that many people talking about this right so for example you know lately i've actually been playing a decent amount of fortnite and if you've seen any of my streams over the last week or so then you would know this you would see me playing and i've been playing with friends and fans and followers and just random you know squads and stuff like that and i've had a lot of fun but the reason that i'm having more fun playing fortnite now than i was you know a couple months ago i wouldn't even touch the game i didn't even update the game i didn't even care about it um, the reason that I'm having more fun now is because I realized that, you know, I was never good at Fortnite and there's a steep learning curve to the game. And the little bit that I played it over the, you know, back in season three and season five, it was frustrating and I just didn't like the game, right? But now that I'm playing it and I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm not very good at this game, right? That's apparent if you, again, if you've tuned into my streams, uh, you know, I'm not good at Fortnite, but I have been getting better and I've been focusing on that as I'm, as I'm doing it. Right. So I'm, I'm focused on like, you know, how can I actually get better at Fortnite? That's a question that I'm asking myself as I'm playing and I'm trying to focus on getting better and not just playing it for fun and not just playing for the wins or whatever the case is. I'm just playing it to see, can I actually get better? at this game uh and how how good can i actually get and you know i'm not very good again like I, i'm not that good at fortnite right and i don't expect to be a god tier player i probably never will i've i've started playing way too late right it's just not it's just not possible um i mean who anything's possible i guess but you know i just don't think that it's really gonna happen and it might not even be worth it to, for me honestly but um that's one thing that I noticed and another thing you know aside from that right like let's say you're not that competitive and you don't really care for getting better at like a first-person shooter or like a MOBA like League of Legends or you know anything like that um, you can play games for their story and I think consuming a story 
isn't really a waste of time and as i've mentioned in this video already like you know with the harry potter example works of fiction you know are mu it's much easier for somebody to claim that that indulging in works of fiction whether it's books or games or movies it's easy for someone to claim that that might be a waste of time because you know you're not learning about a skill or you're not learning about something that happened right it's all fake and someone could just say well you waste you're wasting your time on you know on these superhero movies or whatever the case is because you're not gaining anything out of it but the fact of the matter is actually humans have been telling fictional stories for tens of thousands of years like forever as, as long as humans have been have learned to speak and communicate with one another humans have been telling stories right and it's been stories of of you know of kings and of gods and of religions and of you know all these things that that are in many ways fictional right like if you look at the stories in the bible uh, it, those are clearly didn't happen right like clearly you can't turn water into wine in a, with a snap of a finger uh, you know clearly you know the entire world wasn't flooded like globally at the same time with one man who took all of you know his family and all of the you know uh animals and onto an ark and saved all of the animals like that there's no way there's it's impossible it, it clearly didn't happen but the books still have value right you would say that the bible has value i mean even if you don't like the bible and you're not religious it's like the longest standing book ever like there, there's hard there's hardly anything if i can't think of any older book right i can't think of a book that has lasted as long as the bible so there must be something of value in that book even if it's fiction right and th what is valuable about the bible is the lessons that you learn in that book right the the lessons uh, the life lessons um and the th and the things that you can apply to your own life um just by reading that story and you know what's interesting is a lot of the themes the underlying the underlying themes of you know heroes and evil good versus evil and things like that those themes are all present in modern video games right they're present in games they're present in movies and if you're watching these things with the intention of of like what lesson could i learn from this that's a valuable that's time spent well you're you're spending that time in, in a valuable way because you're actively engaging with that entertainment rather than just passively watching the office for the 15th time and you know nothing wrong with that i we've all seen shows more than once of course i'm not bashing anybody for doing that i love the office but what i am saying is that it might be more productive for you to actually watch something totally new and see if there's anything in whatever you're watching that could be of value to you that you can extract from it and and you know this may sound like i'm going off the deep end and that i'm looking too deep into it but when you seriously look at something like, you know, the Harry Potter series or Lord of the Rings or any other fictional tale, and you really break apart that, you know, that uh, narrative or that story, and you look at who are the good guys, who are the bad guys, what happened to the quote unquote bad guys that put them in that position? And are they much different from you as a person? Like if you really have some introspection and think like, what makes you know me so much different from one of these bad guys and you might find that you know there's not that much different and you might be able to relate to them on some sort of level um and that's a valuable thing i think being able to do some introspection and apply f the themes of fictional work and fictional content to your own life and try and learn from it i think that's incredibly valuable and the more you do it the better you're going to get at it and it's enjoyable as you do it along the way and you shouldn't feel guilty about enjoying a game with a good story and you know if you're actively engaging it with it not only is it entertaining you but you're breaking it apart in your head and trying to think like you know man it's really crazy you know what th where this story is taking me even though it's fictional you can still apply those lessons to your life and i think that's an important uh thing that we can learn and take away from video games so with that being said guys i want to leave you with that with that idea of you know if you feel that gaming is a waste of time and if you feel guilty for enjoying games first ask yourself are you attending to the things that you need to get done and if you are then ask yourself okay if um, if my needs are met and i'm doing you know the things that i need to do in order to uphold my responsibilities as a as a member of 
a family or a society, um, then why do I feel bad about gaming? And ask yourself, is it because you're only gaming passively, right? Are you passively indulging in Candy Crush where you're not really getting anything out of it? You're not being challenged, you're not getting better, and you're not indulging in a story like maybe that is a waste of time maybe you are actually wasting your time doing that and if you are well the good news is that you can break that cycle and now you can start to find games that maybe you can either get better at and focus on working and getting better at something because you'll find you'll find fulfillment in that for sure that's very it's very enjoyable for humans to feel themselves get better at anything as a result of their intended actions um you know meaning that you try to get better and then you see yourself get better like that feels really good for people right no matter what it is whether it's just like working out or getting through like good professionally at a game or something like that feels good that's how we're actually wired in our brains um you know or can you enjoy a game with a good story that you can actually learn something from things with life lessons or you know things that make you question your own decisions or passions or you know how you've handled things or things like that i mean th these are all really great ways to actually enjoy gaming and be engaged in that uh in in the act of playing a video game and not just passively sitting there hating the fact that you're wasting your time in the back of your mind with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully there's a few of you guys out there who maybe needed to see this video and you know maybe if you're feeling guilty about enjoying games and spending so much time playing games maybe there's something in this video that you can resonate with and and feel good about and maybe address how you've been gaming in the past and change to, to feel better about it and to enjoy the hobby because it's something that growing up I enjoyed a ton and then I can't it kind of fell apart for me for a while and it spent again I spent a really long time thinking about this and hopefully I was able to articulate my idea in in the right way um, so yeah try to escape the or try to break the cycle of mindless escapism and consumerism with video games and try and be focus on being engaged with it and either consuming the story getting better or both and again if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below telling me what you think about this topic like was this useful for you do you agree do you do you disagree let me know um and subscribe if you're new around here if you want turn on the bell so that way you can see the next time i upload if not that's cool Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.